All right, call me naive, call me jealous, but I don't understand this obsession with so-called luxury goods. You know, once in a while, you could get something nice because it's truly made or built better. But incessantly buying products largely based on brand name is, to me at least, utterly ridiculous and insanely materialistic, which is what this topic is all about, the luxury goods market. Now, to be sure, it's a huge market and steadily growing. And the Chinese are its biggest market. Here's Xinhua's take. Last year, the Chinese people spent $28 billion on luxury goods in China and $74 billion overseas. Almost all well-known luxury brands have entered the Chinese market. And almost all luxury stores outside China have staff who can speak Chinese. Serve Chinese customers well has become the most important marketing strategy for luxury brands. Well, you know what? That's about the size of it. Yet it still doesn't tell the whole story. As we saw from the numbers earlier, the Chinese spent more on luxury goods overseas, which means luxury brands are struggling within China, as the Beijing Morning Post reports. After a continuous decline in 2013, Sales of luxury goods have shown no signs of rebounding in China in 2014. Well, this following an austerity campaign. The World Luxury Association predicts many luxury brands will stop opening new stores in China, and it says some will even close stores in second and third tier cities. It adds the sluggish market also kept inventories high in stores in major cities, including Beijing. Shanghai, Chengcheng, and Shenzhen. And visits to these shops declined during the recent Spring Festival vacation, despite huge discounts. Reports say Giorgio Armani and Dolce e Gabbana have shut down their flagship stores on the Bund in Shanghai, which is home to a number of buildings from the historic foreign concessions. That bad, huh? So is there a logical explanation for buying luxury goods overseas? when they're right in front of you in China? Well, the answer can be found in this Sinmen Evening News report. The irony of ironies, it's the rich in China who buy these goods, yet they're penny pushing. Why do they travel all the way to Europe, North America, and Dubai to shop? Why can't they shop in China? How can we change the phenomenon of earn money in China and spend it outside China? Last year, more than 80 million Chinese traveled overseas. Most of them are very price sensitive. China imposes stiff import duties and other taxes on luxury goods. Well, this inflates the price of luxury goods in China. China should lower import duties and other taxes. The government should do its math. Do duties and taxes bring in bigger revenue? You know what? That should get them thinking. And finally, as Chenlong.com reports, this obsession with luxury goods is all about keeping up with the Joneses. After all, despite its centuries-old history, today's China is largely nouveau riche. An analyst from PricewaterhouseCoopers said that most Chinese luxury goods consumers spend on clothes, perfume, and watches. And there are three types of them. The first type, Rich people who seek better living standards. They favor the newest and most fashion luxury goods. They think the price of luxury goods equals their social status. Now the second type is the growing middle class. They can purchase luxury goods within a certain price range. For them, getting luxury goods is like rewarding themselves for their hard work. And the third type is the poorer one. They would spend all their savings on luxury goods to show off to their friends. For them, luxury goods are not products anymore, but their role or image in society. I will say it again, blind obsession.